Okay. Section three, confidence and service delivery. Okay, so 3.01, RBT's only practice under the close ongoing supervision of a qualified supervisor. So what this looks like in the real world is insurance agencies generally require about a 5% supervision uh, percentage of the total hours of service. You might get more or less depending on your experience and the needs of the client, no less than five, obviously, I was talking about above that five part. Um, the, the big thing is that in the beginning, you're probably gonna get a lot of supervision and direct feedback from your um, supervisors to get you up and running and get you confident and feeling good about the services that you're delivering. And then there's the part where they're gonna put you with kids that they deem are a little easier or that you're a good fit. And then they'll start pushing into um, all the other cases that could be a little more challenging. Um, but the bottom line is that the supervision should be happening. Um, my big point here is that um, you should not go for months without being supervised or in contact with your BCBA. Um, it should be an ongoing conversation and you should have direct lines of contact with them. Even if they're not directly supervising you, um, they could be doing it over a webcam. Uh, but the bottom line is that you don't go unsupervised for long periods of time uh, without being supervised. So we aim to have our first sessions uh, good agencies will aim to have their first sessions with BCBAs present to introduce the family, the technician, the client, um, but it's never a good scenario to have, hey, we have a family that needs services, can you just go there and hang out for a while? It's not the right tone or the professionalism that we're striving for, uh, but the bottom line is, is you need to be supervised and that supervision should be available for you.